The shadow lies upon his tomb. In Maria in casa tomb. Oh, hi, yo, se kai, good morning, wow. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Dr. Stone episode 20, The Age of Energy. Last episode, we were introduced to Homura, who is uh, Hyuga's right hand, the girl, and she burned the village to try to lure the villagers outside so they could kidnap one of them and hold that person for ransom and to force the village to surrender I guess and uh, Suika decided to take on that role then she led them all away to up toward the mountain with the toxic gas and then um Suki <laughs> oh, what is Suki oh my gosh wrong show um uh, Senko Senko and Kohaku went after her with the gas mask and then they lured them they pulled her away and then you had Hyuga and Homura in the trees and then those muscle guys like used as sacrificial bait to see if the gas was toxic or not and then after that Hyuga went back into Sukasa told him that Senko's alive so he's like angry and then um Senko comes up with a plan to make cell phones so that they can communicate with <laughs> Taiji and Yuzuriha because they're like the um, spies in the Sukasa Empire, right? So, yeah, I'm really excited for that to see them back again, man. Like, you don't know, man. I miss them so much. So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that to seeing them back. And then, like, how are they gonna make cell phones, man? Yeah, so I'm excited. Now, if you guys want to see the full reaction, you can see like the highlights for reaction if you want to see the highlight of the reaction you can see it uh click on the link in the description box because trying to keep my um reactions from getting blocked from now on so yeah the link is going to be in the description box and in the comment section so just click on it and then you can watch it and then please come back for the my thoughts on the episode and yeah let's go so you know how to I love this episode so much. <sighs> when they said they were gonna make cell phones, I'm like, okay, that's gonna take a long time. And then you have the Suka Empire there that's also gonna make a that's also gonna come up with a plan and then attack the village and then I think it was like they they have a few months and I'm like Sukasa is gonna give them months before he can attack the village like that's that's a long time for Senku to come up with something to you know fight them and then like at both at the same time both of them were talking through the strategy of how they came down to you know leave them a few months like I don't know but they're saying that okay the village is surrounded by water that that's like a strategic advantage for the village and then they're like they're, i think i'm forgetting like the whole explanation like how they came down to how they're not attacking at this particular moment and what they're waiting i feel like i'm not totally getting it but yeah they're gonna be waiting but then you have as they were explaining those things you have sukasa on the side and you have Senko on the side and they they like going through their own explanation at the same time then they came down to the same result and i'm like yo Tsukasa and Senko like their intelligence i'm like yo it's amazing and then they said that they left Homura to keep an eye on Senko and what he's doing i'm like okay this is not good and Senko also like I don't know why I didn't think that Senko would know that they left Homura there when Hyuga mentioned the fact that he left her there and I'm like okay our guys don't know and then when Senko mentioned that we're being watched I'm like it makes sense that he would know because like he's IQ man like he thinks 
several steps ahead so it made sense that he will know and when chrome i believe i have, think it was chrome that mentioned like what what's up with taiju and yuzuriha that if uh, sukasa knows that you know both of them are spies in the empire like aren't they gonna kill them aren't they in danger and Sinku's like no they're gonna use them as leverage i didn't think about that i don't think i thought about them being used as leverage against Sinku. so they're okay they're not gonna be killed or anything unless it comes to the battle in the future and then Sukasa is like okay you come here now or i'm gonna kill both of them and Sinku is gonna do it <laughs> for sure because it's not gonna let those who die in his place but that's like way in the future so i don't know how this battle is gonna go so yeah that's way in the future for now Taiju is really hard safe so they're okay now we're gonna make these cell phones and he's saying like the first thing they need to do is to make is a con candy machine I'm like huh how is that supposed to help you and it turns out that they using the machine they're gonna be using the machine to make some gold thread for the electronics right but in order to make sure that the machine is working properly they're gonna be making cotton candy and they use the sugar crystal that after Homura burnt the village he burnt she burnt something wine and potato wine and something else and those two things I think when they're burnt they become the sugar crystals or whatever so that's what they used to make the cotton candy and the joy on their faces when they first tasted that cotton candy was like oh heaven so they had that and then they noticed that it's clumping together somewhere along the way so they're trying to come up with a way to stop that from happening and Senku is like, okay, we're gonna need to make gears. <laughs> and this is like Kuwaku's shield thing. It's a perfect thing to use. And then you see this fa- the father like going, like having this sentimental um, flashback about how he came to obtain that thing. And then he gave it to Kuhaku. And then he's like, Kuhaku, it's not, it's up to Kuhaku to, you know. Make a decision about whether or not to use the thing. Kwaku was so quick to say yes, and he was so heartbroken <laughs> that she didn't have the, like the same sentiment of feeling or value that he attached to the to the thing, right? But yeah, so they used it to make a gear, and then Chrome had this idea, and then he pulled Kosaki Kosaki <laughs> Kaseki to the side, and he told them the pull. The idea made Kaseki just explode with whatever knocked everybody down. <laughs> they, they went away. So they were doing the thing on the side and then Kinro was they made the gear and then Kiro was using that to make the gold yeah the gold thread and then they're like okay you need to twist all this thing together it's gonna be from here to up to the mountain and so everybody was chipping in they were doing that and doing that and then you have chrome and uh kaseki on the side doing the thing and when he came back crawling <laughs> he's like we did this for three days straight we haven't slept or anything and then when they came there in like I love that chrome even though the water wheel is something that has been around for ages I love that the chrome came up with the idea without having like if Senku wasn't there but then Senku had to be there to make the wheel the, the gear the wheel I don't know so that chrome could have that idea but like I love that chrome is the one that came up with it like it wasn't it didn't come from um Senku like even with Senku's like IQ uh, IQ IQ and uh smart like he's smart he didn't even think about doing the water wheel so that they can have the they don't need the human uh power human work <laughs> something and now they can just like use that water wheel thing to produce what they need to do he didn't think about that like it was chrome that did it 
and I was so proud of him, man. His single was so proud. Like, I don't know. This was so amazing. Now, they don't need, they don't need the, uh, mm, what's the term that he used, man? Uh, human workers? <laughs> okay, yeah. We've, he said with gears and the water wheel, the age of human power is over. So they're not going to need all those people to do that anymore. I think they're going to be using that as well to make the gold thread, maybe? I'm not totally sure how all this works. Like, this was a lot of scientific stuff in this. I know they were using the cotton candy machine to make the thread. And they used the gear and the wheel to make them more uniform like to not have the clumps anymore so now that you have the big water wheel i'm assuming they're gonna be using that to make the thread now and they don't need the uh, people to do it anymore is that also gonna be like thread like um twisting the the threads together i don't know we'll see but Based on what Senko said, they're not going to be using Kiro and Giro to <laughs> the cords and all that, or the wheel and all that. I don't know. Well, we'll see how that's all going to go. <sighs> I'm excited, man. This show is awesome. I loved it. I love this episode. Thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And please come back on Thursday for my reaction to episode 21 of Dr. Stone. And if you want to see the full reaction, the full length to this reaction, you can see it on my Patreon at patreon.com slash Philly Mini. Now, thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, hi, yo,